Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Indeed all praises is due to Allah we seek his help forgiveness and we seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our own soul and the evil consequences of our action Whomsoever Allah guides no one can lead him astray and whomsoever he leaves astray no one can guide him I bear witness there is none worthy of worship except Allah the most high and I bear witness that Muhammad is his slave and final messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam may Allah's praise and salutation be upon him his family and his companions amen I welcome you back to our Ramadan series as today inshallah we will st- we'll still look at the virtues of the month of Ramadan as the part 2 or continuation of our previous episode inshallah as verily this month which is ramadan has great virtues among them uh let's say one allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders his angels to open the gate of paradise not a single door will be locked and he ordered his angels to lock the gate of hell leaving none open then he orders his angel to shackle the recalcitrant shayateen, meaning they are fettered and their hands are bound to the necks. They will not be able to do anything. This does not mean that all the shayateen will be fettered. Only the recalcitrant, senior and strongest ones who subdue the Muslim will be fettered. In the month of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies good deeds forgives bad deeds and sets free people from hell. O oh, servant of Allah, we must take advantage of this month because this month is among the opportunities with which the Muslim should be avoid concerning it. So aspire to it, O oh, servant of Allah, concerning it. And may Allah show you mercy to fast this Ramadan. Perhaps this opportunity will not come again and death possible to snatch you before another Ramadan arrives. O servant of Allah, have taqwa of your Lord, for indeed paradise has a gate called Arayan. This gate is one of the eight gates of paradise. It is called Arayan because only those who fast will enter it. It will be announced who are the people who fasted. They will stand and Allah will allow them to enter the gate, after which the gate will be locked. So, who are the fasting people that will enter that gate called Arayan? This gate is a reward for the people who made themselves tasty and hungry, avoiding their desires during the day of Ramadan. Likewise, these are the people who perform subrogatory fasting in the other month. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewarded them by, con- by quenching the taste that endured out of obedience to him and desiring a reward from him. O servant of Allah, which of these two is better? That you fast on this day which alternates from 10 to just 14 hours. Then you come on the day of standing resurrected and replenished, not tasty and hungry. This day will be 50,000 years long. People will be standing in the same spot for 500 years, 300 years, more or less. Only Allah knows the true affair of that day. Allah has described that that day which will turn the child's hair gray and the sky will be ripped asunder. So, if you fast in this worldly life and accustom yourself to becoming tasty and hungry out of the obedience to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will recompense you on the day of resurrection by resurrecting you, replenish why the people will be tasty at a time when the sun would be drawn near to their heads, the distance of just one meal. The sweat will become fluid until it reaches the disbeliever's mouth and this and silences him and refuge is sought from that. However, the believer will be shaded by the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from charity, reciting the Quran and so forth from the righteous deed. It is authentically reported from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
from Al-Bukhari and Muslim on the authority of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu that he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there are seven people whom Allah Azza wa Jal will share with his share on the day of resurrection the day when there will be no shade but his that is a just leader a young man who grows up worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal a man who remembers Allah when he is alone and his eyes flow that is with tears a man whose heart is attached to the masjid two men who love each other for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal a man who is called to that is to commit a sin by a human of high status and beauty but he says I fear Allah and a man who gives charity and conceals it so that his left hand does not know what his right hand is doing likewise O servant of Allah we must do this in this worldly life which will eventually bring us nearer to Allah insha Allah as there is nothing that brings a servant closer to his rob than subrogatory actions those nafilas those tahajjud insha Allah will draw you closer to Allah and you gain the love of Allah may Allah love us all amen alhamdulillah we have come to the end of our today's episode may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you and I would also like to call everyone to join us in this da'wah and spending Islam by donating to this cause as we really want to be producing much more educative, powerful and engaging Islamic content but we are being hindered by the lack of financial support to get some better guided and work for us to do this. Kindly WhatsApp or call us on this number plus two three four eight one six two nine two nine three seven three or on our email address at the our squad reminders at gmail.com for more information advice suggestion inshallah and if you are interested in donating which will be a sadaqatul jariah for you and me inshallah may allah see us true and help us all amin you can also join us on all social media platforms when you search us at the our squad reminders for more powerful and engaging islamic content ان شاء الله جزاكم الله خيرا السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته